The Belfast Trust is the largest group of hospitals in Northern Ireland. Clinical engineering supports a range of activities including equipment management, clinical computing, clinical measurement, rehabilitation engineering and bioengineering research and development. These activities are delivered through a mix of registered clinical scientists, clinical technologists and biomedical engineers. A short video highlights the work of a clinical engineer involved in the clinical motion analysis of patients requiring orthopedic and medical intervention. Some of the skills required of a clinical engineer in a clinical gait analysis setting include the ability to capture, process and analyze three-dimensional motion capture data, perform quality control processes and interpret the clinical significance of the outcomes along with clinical measurements of strength, muscle tone, and motor control selectivity. The gait analysis engineer is part of a multidisciplinary team of orthopedic and neurology consultants and physiotherapists. The Regional Gait Analysis Laboratory in Northern Ireland is located in Mosgrave Park Hospital in Belfast. Its equipment includes a Vicon motion analysis system with eight infrared and two video cameras and two AMTI force plates for detailed analysis of gait kinematic and kinetic patterns. Retroreflective markers are placed on anatomical landmarks to describe rotational and translational movement of the pelvis, femora, tibia and feet in a three-dimensional space. A static trial is initially used to build a 3D model for the lower limbs based on the anatomical position of the markers and anthropometric measurements. Dynamic trials are processed first by labeling the markers and segmenting the trial to eliminate non-usable data. A quality check is performed to determine whether all markers are labeled and visible throughout the trial. The quality panel indicates which markers were not labeled and which marker trajectories have gaps throughout the trial. Missing markers are reconstructed based on the position and movement of markers within the same segment. The quality check panel is used to ensure all gaps are filled and all markers are labeled. The trial is then processed to filter noise from marker trajectories and force plate data. Gate events of foot contact and foot off and are determined using the force plate data. Further gait events are calculated based on the position of the heel marker as they were making contact with the force plates. A dynamic model is then generated by detecting the center of rotation of the joints during walking. A report generating software is used to bring several trials and check the repeatability for the kinematic and kinetics. A representative trial is then selected to analyze the kinematic and kinetic patterns of the left and the right legs together. The 3D model is superimposed on the video to verify marker placement accuracy subjectively. A final quality check is performed to ensure the position of the markers on the thigh is adequate using the coronal plane knee data. If the thigh marker is not positioned correctly, it will give an erroneous measurement of hip rotation. For example purposes, if we introduce an artificial error on the thigh marker position, the hip rotation error can be detected by crosstalk between the knee, coronal and sagittal data. In this particular example, I have introduced an excessive external rotation at the right hip and excessive internal rotation at the left one. By using a correcting factor on the thigh marker position, we can improve the quality of the hip rotation outcome. However, in routine practice, errors in the thigh marker placement are minimized by physiotherapists, thus reducing the need for this correction. Force plate and kinematic data are used to calculate moments and powers around the joints, which give us an estimation of the amount of work done by different muscle groups as a whole. This is only an estimation, as the force plate can give us resultant forces, but do not provide information on individual muscle forces.